under every the, sport under the sun. I, I grew up playing golf. You know, I played t-ball, obviously. Um, but I played basketball. I did soccer for a little bit, and I played volleyball. <laughs> yeah, that'll play. I mean, I'm very competitive, and I think playing all those sports did, you know, did help. But I grew up in a competitive household. You know, both my parents are really good athletes, so I kind of got that from them. Going from high school to college is one thing, but from college to now making this your life and a profession, when did you kind of know that you could, that could be a route you would take? Uh, you know, throughout my four years at USC, it kind of was in my head, and you know, I've talked with you know our assistant coach and director of golf, Puggy Blackman, up there about it, and. You know, he coaches, he's coached some PGA players and a girl who's on the LPGA now. And, you know, we've had discussions about it. And, you know, I started to believe, you know, I can do it. You know, the first tournament going out there, you know, I was really nervous and, you know, I hated it. The first tournament, I was out there by myself, like on the course by myself. Didn't have my teammates, not my coach. And, you know, it was just really different. I didn't have much time between our, the end of my career at college and then the beginning of Symmetra, I didn't, I didn't have that much time to, you know, uh, try to adjust to the new experience I was going to have. So I jumped right in it. You know, going into the, new, the LPGA season this year, it's I'm on the same level as them. You know, I'm on the same tour, so um, I don't think it will be as bad, but it'll take some time to adjust for sure. Goals for the season? Oh my gosh, you know, me and my coach were talking about that the other day. Um, you know, I'd like to play well enough to make it to the the fall Asia swing, the final um, swing of tournaments in Asia, because if I make it to those, that means I had a pretty good year. I guess, what's it been, a month and a half since you? All right, Caitlin, this is one of the highest points in all of uh, Charleston. Mm -hmm. This is a great opening hole. What are we looking at off the first tee? Um, it's pretty wide open. It's just a par four. You know, what you see is what you get. Pretty wide fairway, and um, you, know, you can just grip it and rip it. There you go. That's a good one. That'll play. Heck yeah. Through the Symmetra tour. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So All right, so we, we're off the tee. We're both safe in the fairway. You can't see the bottom of the stick um, looking into the sun here mm -hmm. with that bunkered coverage. What are we looking at here? What do I need to do? Um, pretty much just play the number. There's actually a lot more room over this bunker before the green okay. than you think. There's yeah, you more wouldn't. grass over it. Sounded good. Looks good. Get up. That'll be a little short. There you go. That's in. Sit. That's better. Slide. Go. Get legs. But we can do this one. We got okay. that. All right, so we started up at the clubhouse. Now 18 is going to take us back all the way uh, mm -hmm. to that starting point. This is a cool scene right right back up to that clubhouse. What are we looking at here on the 18th? Um, you know, it's par four from here. It's probably about 380. Um, you know, just hit it. Keep it in the green grass. <laughs> Stay away from the brown stuff. No, but just pretty much just straight away. Good right there. Should be pretty good. Get up. Yeah, that should be fine. Go. If that goes, that's good. I think that's generally. At least that's what it is for me, anyways. Yeah. All right, Caitlin, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, yep. what, except for the fact that I can't see the bottom of the flag. Yeah, you can't see it. Uh, am I just going right at it? Yeah, go right at it. All right. Is it good? Go. On here, number nine, and it's got a chance. It's good speed there. Uh, go. Go. Come on. 